What is up, Risk Takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player in the game of Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release on YouTube, and I stream on Twitch weekdays in the winter. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. For today's episode, we're going to be playing round two of the Risk World Championships. Sitting at 16 points on the leaderboard, I got second and two in my round one game, which is a fine score. We hope to duplicate that result, that we can make the cutoff. Uh, tournament started with over a thousand players. We're cutting to top 300. Um, so I'm going to be playing this game. I'm going to be playing my best, and we will let the chips fall as they may. Players for this game, let's start with the old Peteman. Pete, right, the grandmaster. Uh, almost 2,000 hours, over 5,500 games, 2,195 to 718. The purple player is entry-level GM, the big height sung from Germany, friend of mine, and a great player. Ranked as Grandmaster, 174 hours in the game with 163 to 103. Uh, the blue player, Aladdin from Lithuania, a master, with 84 hours in the game, 38 wins and 118 losses. The black player, Michael Von Strop, 33, from the United States of America, a novice, uh, with 140 hours, 69, and 155. Might be a bit of a bluff. Uh, playing as white, we have Job from Ireland. Job is an expert, with 225 hours in the game, 142, and, one, and 414. And finally, uh, the green player, My Infinity 2, flying the flag of Papua New Guinea, ranked as an intermediate. Uh, with 74 hours in the game, 2380. So we have a full breadth of skills and rank levels. Settings for this game are EU, Advanced Capitals, Semi Auto, Progressive Cards, 60 Second Turn, Fog is on, Blizzards are on, Portals are stable. We have an expert automated bot with no alliances. I'm just going to check to make sure everyone in the lobby is ready. And then I will fire the game. It was 4 a.m. for me. I had to switch into this group because uh, we had bad weather in Toronto, so I'm glad I made it into a, a group. I would hate to not be able to compete in this tournament. Good luck, players. Please ready up. If anyone fails to do so, Return to your lobby. Let's go. Oh, baby. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Let's go. I'm in the fourth position. Do I have a portal cap? I have a portal cap in the center of the board. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. That's where I'm going to put my uh, put my stack and put my capital. Okay, so how does this board connect up? The Iceland with the portal cap up there. That's the only entry into the Iceland... Britain corridor. Whoever has this caps there. Someone will be up there. The center, center portal in France, center portal in Germany, Finland portal, center portal in Russia. I think whoever has that caps there too. So we'll have a Iceland, Great Britain player. We'll have a Russia player. I'll be in the middle of the board. Hopefully I take Dinaric and hold it. We can go from there. Here's how the bonuses work on EU Advance. You have Iceland is two, British Empire is three, Scandinavia is three, Central Europe, which is Germany, and the Netherlands, Belgium is five. Western Europe is four, which is France, Southwestern Europe, which is Spain, four. West Africa plus six, North Africa plus three, Orient plus six, Russia is seven. Eastern Europe is plus eight, Then you have Southeastern Europe, Dinaric Alps, and Southern Europe, each worth plus four, if you can hold them. So semi-autos have you place your stack we place your troops first. Your territories are manually selected. Now we're going to place our capital. So we're going to see Heitzung place here first. Heitzung will be playing the Germany position. 
me and Heitzong are going to be good neighbors, we hope. Of course, the game, and I'm going to be between Heitzong and Light Blue. Aladdin, okay. Use my capital, let's go. All right, and the first turn begins. We don't see black or white's capital. Nobody took this portal cap. The black or white both don't have portal caps, even though black could have, black has three portals here. All right, so I'm gonna hopefully be good neighbors with blue and purple. But then that is going to stymie my expansion. So I'll have to hopefully snag a second piece of board. I think it's here. I'm gonna start right away by taking Spain. How many troops do I need to dedicate to that? Five? I think I can do that. If I put five here, go pop, pop. Take Spain, turn one. Two bonuses on the first turn, both with plus four. I'll start my second turn. An additional eight troops. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Starting turn two with 11. Be great if, it, if, if the Spain doesn't get blocked. All right, black is going to be in North Africa. They won't take it all that quickly. Okay, so they have a four there. We do not yet know where black's capital is. Same with white. I don't see white at all. Ah, oh no. Oh no. White and green are capped in the same bonus structure. Okay, so then where's the empty space on the board? That's very important for me to know. So one thing you want to do, guys, um, on these settings, kind of essential, um, you want to have an exterior position where you can get your uh, cards from for as long as possible. So black's going to be taking this. I can leave that there. Hopefully guard Spain. I don't think green breaks me. Green has other problems. Maybe I do a soft guard. Just indicate that I mean it. Cool. So I have a soft guard on Dinark. I took a sneaky Spain. That's a good first turn. I like it a lot. It's going to work on Germany. Pops up and then around. Does he have any of the other territories? No, we see him taking another bonus instead. He's going to take the Scandinavia bonus on the first turn. And take the Germany bonus on the second turn. Or is he greedy like me and he goes for both? No. He is. He's a greedman. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. All right. I'm still going to have seven troops left on his capital. Oh, boy. Eight troops. Oh, boy. I mean, if I could put an 11. <laughs> 22 v. 8 steal his capital. Oh, man. That's such a brutal play. Okay, green gets to take exterior. So white's capital is in here. And that's just awful for green. White and green are capped in the same place. Blue's not happy. Why? What is Blue's problem here? Okay. Latin also got 11, so he has a second plus four as well. Which is what? Where is he? Oh, he's here? No way. He is. Okay. Black player going to take North Africa. So Heights is going to get an extra troop. I mean, no, we're going to get the same amount. I'm going to get 11. He's going to get 11. Ah, man. Part of me wants to hit that 8 cap, but it's not the right play. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put a little bit of troop here. 
try and disincentivize Black from moving that way. Uh huh. Did White hold the Great Britain? Oh, I have 13, so good. Yeah, White does hold the Great Britain bonus. Okay. So, a little three guard. Let's see who's in France. Nobody. And we find White's capital. Okay, cool. I think France doesn't get guarded at all. So we get an 18 cap. Yeah, and Haitong put in 14. Perfect. One troop over me. He's going to work on Russia. Or is he going to mostly chill? I think this is the point of the game where you push your advantage. So he has a hidden stack somewhere that I, at least I can't see. If nobody's occupying Italy, I'm going to snag that too. So I'm a greedy, greedy man. Maybe black breaks here? Yeah, Haitong takes Russia. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. He's leaving his capital too weak, though. That five goes back to cap. <laughs> yeah. 12 cap, not bad. All right. I think green is in a bit dire straits. Does green hold Iceland? Yeah. So they just get the plus two from Iceland. That's terrible. Green's going to get eaten. Om nom nom. Oh, man. Latin getting 17 now holds Orient. Great. Great, 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 great. This board is being this board is being organized very, very quickly. I think he went up into Height Sung's Russia. This is why we don't emote like that. I don't tell on myself. I'm happy to do the props, do the let's be friends sort of thing, but don't like giving away additional positional information, but now I see. Blue hit purple. Good. Don't hit me. Took the whole Russia for himself. This guy's trying to snowball. Heitzan says, let's fight him. All right, so Michael getting 11. Does he go up into Gibraltar? Or does he choose another path? We don't know where Black's capital is. Yeah, he chooses another path. Beauty. Maybe it's Italy? Okay. White's still holding Great Britain. Maybe breaks France. Don't see a break. Lovely. All right. Well, Greedman is Greedman. I will continue the horrible, horrible greed that I just can't help myself from experiencing with this game of risk. I will organize the Italian peninsula. Okay. We gotta be homies with black. Black's gonna feel pinned in by that. That's okay. Maybe I don't hold four fucking bonuses. Maybe I do. <laughs> Man, so try not to piss anyone off because in the Caps game long term, you want to hunt for your kills. You don't want anyone to suicide into you. I'm just pushing my advantage at the beginning. Heitzung's on the fence about what to do. So he's like, do I break the Russia? Do I take it? Do I break Pete? Do I guard Germany? See him wanting to get a card there. Thinking about it. Thinking long and hard about it. He's going to get a card off me. Rest goes to cap. We're going to see blue um, steamroll. Ooh, don't love it. Do not love it. But that must be the way it is. Okay. Bringing seven still. In the Iceland cap. 
only a, a tiny, tiny piece of the board that I can't see yet. As far as uh, see-through deduction. Yeah, so um, Aladdin going to get 18. I guess he doesn't have all of Russia yet. So I hide try slows me down a bit. Fair enough. Slow me down. You don't want to just let Pete win. Reasonable. Okay, so if I can figure out that there's some green up here, we can put green in a single position. Then someone takes the bounty, even if it's not me. Having um, a bunch of kills occur in the early game um, will help to hopefully reduce the length of the potential stalemate. So yeah, so black is going to break. So I lose two of the four. Or does he have an exterior to get cards? Breaks here. Ooh, okay. White has a sneaky five stack there. Okay. So I don't move this five yet um, because I want black to keep getting cards in one of the bonuses, not both. Part of me should have taken France back, but I think Heitzung needs cards as well. And nobody's going to break blue in Russia. Maybe Heitzung does that now. Okay, never mind. He's going to switch. So he, Heitzung is trying to keep both me and blue from snowballing, which is a respectable move. But very risky late, or uh, this risky long term. Yeah, green getting seven on his portal cap. Gets a card in Russia. That's all green can do. That might be green's last position. Ooh, and Heidzung does the stick out the tongue move. Definitely a risky emote. Oh, I have a sneaky kill guard on white. Let's see how much white has on his capital. Not kill guard per se, right? But who knows that white is in Crimea? Who was on that territory that I before I took it? Okay. Aladdin sets early. What does he want? He wants to insist upon Russia. Or he wants to guard here. I'm just getting 12. 12 is 1, 2 for the cap. 1, 2, 3 is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And 11, 12 plus 3. Yes, yeah, so we still has this, but he doesn't orient. Is that true? Wait, and he breaks hide song. Okay. Okay. Good game. A bit early for that. Black take, continues taking cards. No, Black, don't break the other one, too. He's just guarding. He's going to get his card here. Good. Or does he take the whole bonus? I say, you're cool to take that. I'm okay if you take that. My heart will not be broken. Yeah, that's fine. He sees that he took a, a full plus four from me. Moves a guard stack out. I just don't want to lose this, really. White player getting 
eight. So white has this and a little bit in. Okay. I think Heitzung is going to hit. Blue. I hope Heitzung is going to hit blue. I'm going to take France again. So now I think I have, and I hope I have. Established a relationship with black, where we're cool and going to be good neighbors. White player has 29 on their capital, so I think I see all of white's positions. Right, Sung breaks one of me again. He's not going to break purple. Okay, or uh, not going to break blue. Okay, so blue is going to get away with it. No, he's breaking blue. All right, so I just need to see these two territories to figure out who has what. So, um, Heidsung's at war with blue, which is great. White is here, here, and here. Green is here and maybe here, but probably not. Green might just be there. Green is in a rough, rough spot. Black is only here. So I can pretty much see everybody. Green sets, which is a big move. Breaks Heitzung in Finland. Too bad. Yeah, setting not holding five is a good move, I think. If you're in a single position, green is probably sixth this game. Who gets 19? Yeah, so blue's not being interrupted. Okay. All right, now we see what black does. Black sets, gets the eight, goes up into Heitzung, or finally breaks me here. Black has no portals and nowhere to go but either through me, who I hope he thinks I've been cool with. But blue's still here, and we don't know how many troops are... Yeah, he takes the... Well played. He takes the lane of least resistance, breaking an already broken bonus. Thank you. Okay. White gets 10. He wants 10 troops locked in Crimea. Perfect. I love that. Takes a look around at the portals. Takes France for himself. The France won't hold. Okay, good. Good, good, good. I said get the 12. I want to take a quick peek and see uh, the last two territories I haven't seen. Okay. So we can now do by inference, uh, we know where everyone is at this point. White Song is only here. Green is only here and here. White is only here and here and there. Black is only here, and blue has the entire right-hand side of the board. Cool. I'm sitting with a 65 cap, holding two bonuses. Yeah, green can't get out of Iceland. I'm going to lose Spain at some point, but it's not really essential to my game anymore.
we might see a conquering game by blue. Okay, green would like France. Everyone's fighting over France. Cool. Fight, fight, fight. All right, 19 a turn. What is that? That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Doesn't have Russia. Maybe he doesn't have this. Maybe black's only here. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 10, 11, 12, 15. Yeah, that's probably what it is. So, Southeastern Europe Orient. Hmm. We actually don't know who's here. With certainty. <laughs> okay, I think Black gets their card in France again. I don't see where Black gets his card. Did Black skip? Hmm. Like Black card skipped. Yeah, we're trading in France. France appears to be the trading zone. New would like the battle log. Okay. Um, New is our, our event host. Um... Stack is a card here. Don't take it yet. All right, let's see if I can do this. Give him the battle log without screwing up my game too, too much. More focused on winning this game and paying attention than reporting the battle log. Green's kind of stuck in that position. Okay. Sorry for the distraction. Black card skipped, which I don't understand. Blue's going to try and trade with me in uh, Eastern Europe. We're playing the super good neighbor version of this game. Yep. Black well, gets card in France again. France is the trading zone. And Black's worried about me here. I think at some point I stop stacking in Gibraltar. We don't know where Black's capital is either. My generation is fine. Hmm. Nobody's really making a move.
I want to see White's capital again. Green has a three stack there. That's what it's going to cost me. Can I get it? Yeah. Okay. Sets are now at 20. Okay, Heitzung breaks Russia. All right. So blue is going to likely retaliate against him again and gives him the props. <laughs> Heitzung is, is causing trouble. I love it. Yeah, blue's not happy. Good. So we see the unhappy face. Don't break my Russia, he says. Um, oh, and Heitzung is taunting him. Interesting. Interesting strategy. You want to taunt someone who's been the strongest player all game. But, well, that, that really wouldn't, um, wouldn't shock me from the big height song. <laughs> Definitely seems like uh, a bit of his style, eh? Okay, we see green get a card. I mean, there's a small percentage chance that green is in North Africa. Hiding behind black. A okay, blue player uh, retakes the Russia. Black player continues to stack on Morocco. And guard his Italy and take a card in France and pass. Take a card in France and pass. Okay. And then white player going to set, get the 25. What do you do with that? White player set, get the 25. Let's go for it. So it turns out green is somewhere else. Green's behind black. Failed kill. So green's going to set inside of black. <laughs> Maybe height sun can figure out where it is. His slider is on. Heitzung expending a lot of troops trying to figure out where he is. And green is here. Oh, he's punching into black to try and find that kill. Heitzung spending all his troops to do this. So black is hosed. Does he get the kill? No. Green sets. Capless. Do they punish me or do they try and retake a position? Setsing gets the 40. Hmm. Bad sitch for black, bad sitch for me, bad sitch for green. It's gonna be really good for blue. Mm -hmm. I think we see green storm up through Italy. No, he was inside of Orient bonus. Takes his cap back. <laughs> Takes his shitty Iceland cap back. Yikes. <sighs> hmm.
Now what happens? Blue's turn. Blue starts with a ton, right? 14, not a ton. Does Blue have enough to figure out where Green is and kill him? Green was in uh, Egypt. Looks like Blue is on the track. Looks like Blue's on the track. Blue's going to get the bounty. All right. Sixth, my infinity, plus one, Aladdin. We have our first kill, ladies and gentlemen. And I fucked it right up. Okay, Blue gets the 45 trade. Who's next? Black's going to set, get the 50. Do those troops do? Oh, and he, nobody's, nobody even cares about that Iceland cap. <laughs> it's such, it's such a garbage position. Oh, man. Okay. This would be an opportune moment for Black to break my 12 in Gibraltar. But I think he's just retaking Italy that Heidsung broke searching green. All right, let's hope white doesn't see that blue left that cap completely unguarded. Because I'll take it. White doesn't take it. Betcha white takes it. Okay, white sets gets the 55. He doesn't put enough troops there to get that capital. He's just going to take the three. He's not going to take it. 119. Okay. He does take it. Good man. He gets the free capital. And then what happens? Blue gave him that. I think someone kills me. Yeah, blue getting 27. Way too much. Blue's going to kill everybody. The game is very heavily imbalanced in Blue's favor. I don't see how that imbalance corrects. I think we all kill each other like rats on a sinking ship. <laughs> Upside there is there's, there's, there uh, might not be a stalemate. But me fucking up that kill and essentially feeding it to... Uh, Two blue player imbalance the game in a fundamental way. So I don't think we see. Eh, well, we'll find out, right? We've gone 40 minutes now. Okay, black takes France opportunistically. Yeah, we're no longer really at the point where the bonuses matter all that much. I can stay out of trouble. I can stabilize. White getting 12 a turn, holding two capitals. Um, Great Britain, Iceland. Breaks in France. Yeah, so <clears throat> it seems like the board is just going to allow blue player to steamroll. That's the way the cookie crumbles, ladies and gentlemen. <sighs> the sucking at risk continues, folks. I'm gonna try and snag a plus eight. Mm. 
need to recover a bit. Sitting with 113 troops on my capital. So I have Eastern Europe, Dinaric, and Spain. Heitzung gets 13 a turn. Sets in. Sets are now at 70? Yeah. Okay. 162 on his capital. We get a break. Yep, and then blue gets the 70 trade, starting with 26 troops. It's blue's game to lose, ladies and gentlemen. 170 off-cap stack. It's the portal. Okay. You gonna go for the kill on black? Hmm. Looks like he's setting himself up to take the kill on black, but he's going to take a peek first. He wants to see what's on black's capital and where it is. We still don't know. Heitzung knows. Uh, now blue's going to know. Do we see black die? Did he leave a 10 there to hit the five? Does he run out of time? Okay, we went back. Blue went back to his portal with 108. Hit, hit black player hard. Black sets and gets the 75. Does he retaliate on blue? Oops. Yeah. Do so you hit black hard? What was the rationale there? Let's see what Black does. Black goes back up through Italy. Black has now been hit in there twice. Once by Heitzung. Looking for green kill. And now by blue. I think blue was just doing some fact finding. If I get to hold this plus eight, I'll be a happy guy. Yep. Black player coming up through the middle of Italy. Setting up his guard as it was. I have, uh, looks like I will have no inoffensive cards. I'm going to have to hit someone. Yeah. So I do hold the plus eight, but I either hit Heitzung, hit black player off of five, which I'm not going to do. Should probably lose Spain soon, so I'm going to stop investing there. Um... I'm going to make the teary-eyed emote. <laughs> indicating that I do not relish this decision. I'm going to hit black, or I'm going to hit blue player in his least expensive bonus. Yeah. I am sorry. But I need a card. Sitting on capital with 137. All right. Well, even getting the plus eight for one turn was good. I don't feel as weak, and I have three cards, so I'm still weak. Uh, Blue also has left his capital quite low, surprisingly. Blue is dominating the right-hand side of the board. But has a weak capital, which is interesting to see. Maybe he's expecting nobody sees it but me. And nobody has seen it for a long time. I'm the first person to see it in since he took it probably turn one. His capital is, is inside of the Balkans. He takes it back. Yeah, if it doesn't break me or breaks me as well. Whoa, he's going for black. Oh, he's hitting a lot of black. All right, now he's going to go for that bounty. All right, we're seeing blue go for the kill on black. Do we see the finish? Two cards. Uh, blue won't set from this. And I have a set on three follow-up. Maybe I can take that kill. He just punched a bunch of, of black. He actually didn't finish. Oh. Goodness gracious me. Black player's still getting 12. What is happening with this war? Punched a lot of black there. Hmm. I should probably see what's in there. 
Well, black held, right? Black still held Africa. Don't think I trade. I'm get a card on the uh, the Switzerland position. Now I'm sitting at 159 on my capital, catching up to Heidsung at 172. White player's two capitals. One of them is 81 on the Iceland portal. The other one's in London that I can't currently see. I, I still have yet to see Black's capital. And yeah, now looks more likely that the game will still made again. Blue's still getting 20 to turn. Can he leverage that in some way? Oh, he put that on capital now. Yeah, just gets an easy card in Switzerland and passes. He punched a bunch of black, though. Black's position is lousy because his cap, I think, is blocked and he doesn't have access to a portal. So he just gets, he's, now he's getting cards in Sardinia and Southern Italy, probably, and moving up into the middle again. All right, white sets in with the 85. 85 is good. 150 on cap. He's a second cap, probably 150 as well. We're close to it. Gets an easy card in France and passes. Yes. All right, we go to me. I don't think I hold five cards. It's all set now. Still kind of low man on the totem pole, so I need to not piss people off. Uh, this card, I think. In Gascony. Yeah, now we're feeling okay again. The board is stable, and if it's stable with me holding two plus fours and a plus eight, I'm not one of the have-nots. I'll catch back. What, what am I getting? Turn 23? That's great. Somehow I finagled this by, by being essentially a good neighbor to blue the whole game. Heitzung sets in. Gets the 95 trade. We've now reached triple-digit trade. 289 cap. What does he do with that? Starts punching some blue. Where's he getting his card? Up in Russia, I think. Ah. In France, like everyone else. Okay, blue now getting 32 a turn. Yep. Easy take in France and pass. I think we've reached stalemate now. Okay. Someone will have to make some kind of bold action in order to further along the outcome. I'm going for the W, ladies and gentlemen. Take, uh, take 15 points, make the cut. It's kind of my rationale. I went for a kill, I failed. I was weak for a while, but now they're letting me get 23 a turn. This is just dandy. Standy, I'll take 23 a turn. For as long as they'll let me. And I want to trade in Switzerland. I want to see Black take their cards again. Black must be walking up the Italian peninsula now. I'd say I'm getting 13 a turn. There's a 291 cap looking across 300. In his, uh, not Berlin, next to Berlin, in his Rhine capital. Yeah, crosses 300. So we're all about even in terms of troops. Blue might have a slight lead, but the, um, the distance between Blue's lead is now shrinking because the cards are becoming so much more valuable. So we, we were able to eliminate a single player from the game before the inevitable stalemate. But I think it did occur, or has, or is occurring.
Yeah, black getting a card. So black trading with blue in Italy. France is sort of everyone's no man's land there. I'm surprised I've also been allowed to hold Spain. I've been good with black. That's probably why. Goodness gracious. That the original Schmopus man. Reginald Jeej here to give us support. What do you think, Reg? What do you think about the round two settings? They don't seem super popular. Where do you stand on the controversy? Where does the Tumulus meet stand on the latest risk situations? Good kitty? Hmm? My good boy? Are you my good boy? Yes. All right, Reg. You want to chill? Can't step on the keyboard, though. You want to chill you need to sit i need to see the screen all right i'm on four cards i think i trade on four blues holding five ah i want anyone getting bright ideas about hitting pete <coughs> it's an easy take off the portal All right, sitting with a 436 cap. Yeah. Waiting, waiting for some action now. Might be a bit. All right, Aladdin now getting 32 a turn. I think he held Italy as well. So where is he trading with black then? In Sardinia or in Black's bonus? Because Black is getting... Sessing gets 110. Tell me he tries to hit Black player again. No, don't go up there, Reg. That's my coffee. I got the bright idea to put the coffee maker in the room so I can play fog games and not take my eyes off the screen. Brilliant solution to uh, solve my <laughs> well-known propensity for addict addiction to caffeine. All right, well, well, shit, folks. Um, all right, yeah. Blue is now getting their cards in Black's bonus. I'm trying to knock Blue out of the pocket, or does he reach? Blue's trying to card block Black. Black already skipped one card in the early game for some strange reason. Yeah, my player with the second capital. Take off the portal. Tries to take France again? France is everyone's trading zone, so I wouldn't even waste my time with it. I did hold France for a turn. Okay. I don't need to break it. But I am super curious to see what's going on in, in the Africa region, so let's take a look. That's what's going on. So blue's trying to card block black. Okay, now I know. So 177 in Sardinia. That means black's gonna hit my 18. Damn it. Oh well. 18 troops right now doesn't sink me. Another set on three. Okay, so black's gonna hit my 18 here. If he has a set. Uh, now, Heitzung, take a look. You're going to see the same thing I saw. All right. Now, we all know what the sitch is down there. That blue player trying to uh, card block black. Oh, he's hitting. Heitzung is hitting. Ah. Okie dokie. 
Heitzung is hitting. Heitzung is spending a lot of troops. Oh, is he gonna get the bounty? He does! Fifth. Michael. Plus one, Heitzung. Okay, GG. GG, Michael. We are down four. Heitzung punched through 177 of Blue's troops to do it. I've set on three. I definitely take a peek down there. I mean, I think Blue kills Heitzung here. If Blue's cap was open, but it isn't. So how, how big is Blue's capital? Ooh, how weak is Blue from that? Oh man. There's a lot of what ifs here. Does white go for an investigation? White looks like they're moving. No. I need to know. So I'm going to look. Okay. I think I can get it. <sighs> oh my god. That roll was... <gasps> no! <sighs> All right, I get the blue bounty. Fourth, Aladdin plus one Pete. But that did not work. That cap roll was atrocious. I lost huge. I think I die. If either of these guys saw enough of that, they kill me. Holding five cards. Yeah, good game, bro. Let's see if Heitzung gets it. Yeah, I don't think they saw how bad the roll was. Okay, Heitzung can't kill me now. He's got a five to hit my nine in the corner. Let's see how hard White pumps it. Come on, don't get my other capital. Don't open the other capital. Oh, my heart is fucking pounding. Oh, my God. I just need to make it to trade. Oh. Five cards, 67 troops. That's I'm running out of time with the fortify. What happened? He left my cap. He left my original cap open. Now let's see what white does. White sets gets the 135. Can white move fast enough? <sighs> oh, I don't think he can. I survive. He hits my Spain. No big deal. Take it. Now hit, hit some heights on in North Africa. Lovely. Yo, yo, yo. Now he's, from there, he's hitting only purple. Okay, he breaks the Orient cap off a portal. Good. Or breaks the Orient portal, rather. Okay, and he takes... Yes, all right. So I get 23 a turn. I stabilize. <laughs> yeah. Blue is laughing. Blue was the only one who knew just how horribly I, I rolled on his capital. So I'm sitting with 120, 172. I knock the portal. Yeah, Blue's laughing. I don't blame you for laughing, man. I got a, I got a crazy, crazy unlucky roll. Oh no, Heitzung botting out? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Can you reconnect? Because I might be, I might find myself in a 1v1 now with the white player. 
Oh, no, he's good. He's still alive. I think he's back. Yeah, this is not a strat. Yeah, yes, you're back. You're back. Cool. <laughs> good. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we are in a three-player game. Excellent. Well, I think white has the strongest position. White has three capitals. Heitzung has two, and I have my, I have blue's original capital. So now white's doing a little investigating. Yeah, hey, man. So white sees the size of this cap. Heitzung has that sneaky kill guard in North Africa. I think I keep my cap open. Try and reestablish myself. All right, Heights, I'm getting 15 a turn. Do have set on four. I will trade it. You guys are going to let me hold the right hand side of the board. Didn't work out for blue, though. Well, we made it to the one hour mark in this video, and we have half of the players still alive. We'll call that a win. I made a really, really bold kill on blue, and I got a shit roll. All right, why are you getting 35 a turn? Oh, baby. Can you leverage it, White? White is the newest player in the game, I think? White's an expert. No, no, there was a novice. Someone was novice ranked. Or at least fake novice ranked. Good luck. Yes, good luck. Okay. White spends a lot of their turn in draft, too, which tells me he doesn't have a plan in his mind to execute. Um, so all things being equal, I would opt to go into the 1v1 against um, White and not hide zone. Okay, White's breaking the shit out of me now. Fair enough. I'm going to set and reciprocate. Um, I don't think he rolls. Okay, so you just break, a, you break one of my bonuses, but why, though? Um, but why? Okay. I mean, if you're going to do that, I'm going to not let you have stuff. So let's see what happens here. It's like I can, you know, 35 a turn is great, but also, um, how about you let me hold my stuff? Um... Like, there's no need to additionally break, right? That's the thing. So I'm sitting on my capital with 356. I'm get a card. That's fine. But you don't need to break a bunch of my shit. There's no point. I guess I'm getting 25 a turn now. Let's see if that sent the right kind of message. I don't like to re-raise too often, because then you just get suicided into... Okay, so he went from 35 a turn to 16 a turn. Don't hit me again. I know it doesn't matter a ton. He's gonna retake his shit and not break. Good. He gets a thanks for that. Thanks. Okay. Um. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. All right, I'm gonna see this. Still inside of the old Mr. Heitzang in Africa. I like this exterior, but um, that was sort of Green's plan. It didn't work out so well for Green. Heitzang getting 25 a turn. All right, so I'm still in a distant third in terms of troops. White has three fucking capitals. <laughs> and now I, I, I downgraded to a shitty non-portal capital. But somehow I'm being allowed to hold half the board, which is fine for right now. Might be at risk of getting card locked in the future. So we did find Black's original capital. It's in Western Sahara. The territory is called Mor Morocco proper. Um, now he's hitting Heitzung instead. Okay, good. 
please hit someone who isn't me. So we found all the capitals. Now I'm getting 36. Um, can do one strong cap for a while. All right, Heitzung sets and gets the 155. Gets an easy take, retakes Germany. I'm being very careful not to close off this capital again. I want to be able to punch out if I see something happen. Oh, he's got a slider on. Everyone being so nice to me. <laughs> okay. Of the two capitals I can see from white, these are 294 and a 240. White sets and gets the 160 trade. He going to steal... Black's original cap. No, he's going to knock me out of North Africa. Fair. I'm now in one single position on the Eastern Front. Um, White's making me get a card off of him, which is fine. I'll get the least offensive card I can get off the portal, which doesn't lock my capital. So he knocked off a nine stack. So I don't think White's feelings would be terribly hurt if I hit his portal there. So you're on cap with 458. I mean, he removed my ability to get cards off of one position. I might as well hit him instead of Heitzung. Heitzung has been generally a good neighbor to me the entire game. Which is exactly what I always try to do with these sorts of things. In a long game, um, you really want your opponent to feel some sort of favorable to you. It, if all things being equal, you know, you ask the question, will, will I rather work with this guy or that guy, right? We're in a three-player scenario. I think I'm the weakest player. But Heitzung might be kind of weak, too. Um, ooh, I have a joker. Let's see how long I can hold that joker for. All right, I'm now sitting with a 655 cap. I no longer feel like I'm the weakest player. I think Heitzung might be. But it's close. Maybe not. Maybe we're equal or very close to equal. I can, another easy card in France and pass. Heitzung getting 18 a turn. I'm getting like 35? 33. I'm getting the most troops a turn, so I've been able to catch up. Oh, man. How long the three-player scenario goes for, no one really knows. Okay, Heitzung sitting on five cards. I have the Joker, but we don't know what's hanging out in Morocco. 420 cap, you dab on that. <laughs> you dabbed on it. Yes, everyone dabbed on it. Excellent. Well done. <laughs> we are all children. <laughs> and back to the video games. <sighs> okay, I didn't see where White got, got his card. Okay. Hmm. Well, I'm going to slowly take France. Sitting on cap with 688. <coughs> and I have a set other than, without using my Joker on four. Yeah, I think I'll use it. I don't want to get, I don't want anyone getting bright ideas. All right. Height Sung sets gets the 180, 175. Okay. 
<coughs> it's an easy card in France and passes. All right. So the longer this game goes, I don't know. There's no conclusion, right? There's nothing I can really do. I have to play very conservatively now and try and go for the win. Maybe one of these guys takes the other. Who has the bounties? I have one, Heitzon has one, and Aladdin has one. Aladdin has been defeated. So Aladdin got fourth and one. Me and Heitzon are still alive. Job has not taken a bounty. Okay, I think I will trade here. I'm going to sit on cap with 899 troops. We'll be over 900. Okay, so now we actually see White's count. White has two 420 caps and a 202. I'm sitting on my single shitty Bulgaria capital with 901. Heitzung is 731 on his Germany capital. We don't see what's in Morocco. He breaks me in Russia and Orient. All right, he says enough. Let's let's hit Pete a little bit. I, I can respect the move. Let's hit Pete when I ah, see checks the cap. Right. Information received. All right. Heidson goes bad, na bad neighbor to Pete, and he will receive the exact same treatment of anyone who goes bad neighbor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to hit you. I am going to break your bonuses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. <laughs> Me too, my friend. Still getting 20 to a turn given that. All right, so I will reconstitute the, the position that I had before. We'll wait for it. Do we get it? He just wanted to see the capital. All right, we get it. Without alliances, how do you communicate? You don't know. I could have broken. I asked a question. Right, so I don't, I don't get my, <laughs> I don't get my rush on my orient bonus for one turn. I think that beats reciprocating a break because he's not getting a ton either. That would just advantage the other guy, but he knows that. Is the thing about three player, it's always king making. Okay, what happened here? And now I have to break something to get a card. All right, Hyde Sung Sexton gets the 185. I have another set on, on three, and I get to hold the Joker. So four cards. And the sets are almost 200. 190. Okay, we got a 14 stack running up through Italy. White could kill either of us, I think. He's got two 450 caps and a 230. Heitzung is 986 on his Germany cap. He took the Italy bonus. Mm -hmm. White's hitting. White has four capitals. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, White got it at some point. I never noticed this leader thing up in the corner. I should pay more fucking attention. But it's like it's out of the way. Like it's not... I didn't even know how many turns ago that happened. Okay, um, where do I get my card? It's 
So I have a, a 1,176 capital. Just sort of waiting to see some motion. Someone might have to make a move. And I pretty much never take this territory. Uh, Denarides, next to Bulgaria. Um, unless I'm in extremely dire straits for cards. Because that really closes off my access to being able to do things in the game. All right, Hyde's on going through his turn. Thousand cap. We both have thousand caps. Breaks the France. Yeah, no worries. You just need cards, as do I. Cool. So we're all doing that card trading thing. The old Peatman trying to make watching the paint dry seem exciting. Finally get knocked out of France. No. White Guards Gascony. White Guards Gascony with 32 stack. Mm -hmm. White sitting on five cards. And getting 36 a turn. 36 a turn sets, gets the 200 trade. 195. Trades are at 195. Okay, we see a 503. My original cap. We see a 304 in London. And a 500 cap in Iceland. The garbage Iceland cap. Well, we set a portal. Yeah, they both picked two ends of the same bonus, white and green, originally. Okay. Well, well, shit, folks. Well, shit. Looks like we might be in here for the long haul, but you know what? My attitude towards this is I came to win a tournament. These are the settings. I'm going to play my best game, so. Try my best to keep my mood up. Stay focused, stay, uh, keep my attention on the game. Don't want to get sour or grouchy about it. All right. Height sign is 12.03. On his Rhine capital, 49 stack in Burgundy. Pulls back to Switzerland. Yeah, we're all just trading in France. The board has stabilized. Don't think I trade my Joker now. I'm just keeping it real chill. All the time in the world. It's a uh, quarter after 5 a.m. for me. I really budgeted a lot of time just in case I, this game was going to go long, you know? Yeah, nothing much happening now. No, we do not opt to use the Joker, thanks. That is dumb. Everyone trading in Burgundy. Sitting on cap with 1,500 troops. We are deep in the stalemate now. There is no incentive to make a move. Someone can maybe go for a bounty and take second. That someone would be white. I hope I don't get third and one. That's why I'm playing super tight. I think I have slightly more troops than Heitzong. But not enough for White to be able to make the kill on him. I don't know if White would take second and one. Heitzong doing 69 stacks.
goes for a card block on Pete. Respect it. And definitely respect the attempt. Tempted card block. See what he does with that. So 69 stack off the portal in Finland. I split off 150 troops. He doesn't have a set. Now it's an 80. He re-raises. I'm gonna hit some shit. I like the play. Might as well try and do something. Yeah, well, you tried, though. You did try. Yeah. Try something else. <laughs> how about we work together and try and kill white i don't know there's no way to talk to this guy so assuming it, the one of the things that i find the very very most frustrating about term, tournament design in this regard um is the implication that it's the player's fault um that the st that the setting stalemate i think that is the most tone deaf and objectively incorrect thing i've ever heard in my life like Players are incentivized to maximize their points in a tournament. Players will do that even at the expense of their own fun, right? They will play to win. So the idea that it's our fault without the ability to talk to each other <laughs> is, is just... It, it lacks a, a fundamental level of empathy. Okay, well, well, shit, sir. I don't think I hit your 249. I don't need to punish. Quite yet, because I kind of admire the move trying to card block me. I'll put some off cap stacks on my portals. But again, I'm not trying to lose the fucking game, so. I'm trying my best not to let myself become card blocked. Spending a lot of troops to hit me. All right, this game is ending. Heitsung is playing for second now. Cool. 
Do we see white give me cards? No, right? Why would white give me card? White gives me card. Thank you, white. <laughs> I think must be fucking fuming. You must be fucking fuming. The white would give me cards. Well, I mean, if I had a set, I'd try and fucking kill you. But I don't. Uh, I mean, it's possible I could kill him. Spend a lot to hit me. <laughs> Alright, Heitzung sets and gets the 230. I should have gone for it, I think. Fuck. But watch me get another shit roll, right? That's the other thing about capitals. That is just cruel as anything, is the incredible variance in the luck. Like, you can't have a high likelihood play. It's just bad for competition to have so much more, like just, just built in so much more luck. You got to be cool with the luck, right? You're playing risk. It is what it is. All right. White sets and gets the 235. Okay. He's hitting Heitzung. He's hitting off cap Heitzung troops. Yay. Okay, cool. <laughs> Sweet. Boop, boop, boop. White wants me to win, I guess. Thanks, man. I love you, too. Well, Kaizong tried to card block and has been punished. I mean, I can almost go for his bounty now. Let's see. 240 trade. Yeah, maybe I try for it. Give White the win? I mean, how much do I need to take him? He doesn't set. Yeah, I think I go for his kill now. I'll take second and two. So I bet you he buried troops here. All right, let's see what happens. Does white hit more off cap 69 stacks? White trying to kill guard that bounty. I mean, if I don't make that roll. <sighs> I have to. Oh my god. Can't. Fuck. Too much. See, you need double, right? He's got 997, I got 817. He has. 69, 69, 71. I, it's too damn close. And then I get third and one. Heitzung sets with a 245. Hits my 55. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Makes sense. tries again to card block me, right? Does white hit him again? Yep. 
Yeah, white does hit him again. Ooh, no set on four here is not ideal. Okay, white sets because of the 250. Do we see a bunch of off-cap stacks get deleted again? Because if he keeps doing that, he gets punished for attempting to progress the game. And I get rewarded for cap stacking. He does lose another 69 troops. Ah, we're hitting off cap stacks, aren't we? I can work with that. He's really trying to card block me, man. <laughs> He's really trying to card block me. And take all the portals with 69s. Maybe he's just memeing at this point. It's a meme fest. And 69. This is ridiculous. White opens me, I take this bounty now. <laughs> Open me. Yeah. Open me. Bye. Doesn't open me. Three cards in the kitty. I don't. I don't spend these three cards until until absolutely necessary. White Sung Sats gets the two sixty. I have no set on four again. Did he card skip? There's no way.
Okay, white sets gets the 265. It's off cap stacks. Love it. I'm all about team hit off cap stack. All right, Heitzung's finished. He's suiciding into white. Gives his own bounty to white. If white can get it quickly. I have a set on three. This game is ending. My cap's not open to his. Let's see how many troops he ends up with. I still got a ton of troops. It's fine. And he doesn't open me. He just punches a bunch of white. He doesn't suicide. Good job. Heitzung's still playing to win. Doesn't hit any of the capitals. So White sells a capital down here. I want to see what it looks like. Oh, I can't. I'm not going to get in. Once my cap becomes open, I will take this bounty and take second and two. There's no way for me to communicate that to white, so white isn't opening my capital height songs region. I would absolutely take second and two. And maybe hope to, to clutch it in the 1v1. Height Sung's hitting him again. I have twice his troops. Open me. Open me. White well, could take his bounty now. <laughs> Why well, you could take Heitzung's bounty and give me first. I'll I'll take first and two too. Not taking third and one though. At some point, White might take the Heitzung bounty. Play it all into that thousand cap. Call it a day. Let's go home, boyos. All right. Um. Let's reconstitute Russia, shall we? Splitting off troops. 
What do we see that cap down to? We see that cap down to, oh, he took off 60. He's putting a 69 in Denmark. <laughs> All right. Mm. So tired. <laughs> I am so tired. Oh my God. We're going to see that 69. Yeah. If I was open on either, uh, I was if I was open on Dinaridis again, um, I would I would go for the Heitzung bounty. How do I tell White Player that? No way to tell him. Okay, and the sixty nine walks out from Denmark in southern Sweden. Ooh, 43 a turn. All right. White player sets and gets the 285. Takes a card and passes the turn. Heitzung sets and gets the 290. The longer this goes, um, the smaller the margin of advantage I have over his troops, um, and the less likely it is that I can make that bounty. If White wanted to win this game, all he has to do is hit this territory. I will kill Heitzung, take second and two. White will win this game for sure. He doesn't know that. He doesn't know that I'd, I'd happily take second too. 16 points is fine, right? I would get, I have 16 points already. I'd get 16 points, 32 points. I'd take it. Maybe I can do something else. How many troops can I split off? Try and snag that bounty. Hmm. So I'm thinking about putting like a thousand here and lining it up, but... Don't know that white doesn't then change tack and go for my capital instead. So again, we're going to play it safe. We're going to wait. Let's see. I have to play it super safe. I already took a risk this game and I failed to kill. The fact that I'm top three is already great. I could have died. I should have died, right? After failing that kill. And I should have died after making the kill I made. Somehow we're still here. Old luck sack McGee. Better lucky than good, ladies and gentlemen. That's what I always like to say. And that is the two hour mark on the coffee maker. Let's just keep it warm for me. Almost 3,000 troops on my capital. The height song's 1,000. Open me.
who's trying it again. He's trying to get White to understand what he's doing. White hits all the off-cap troops. Again. Yeah. But I'm not open for the kill. All right, Heitzing sets in, gets the 305. 1341 on capital. Retakes Germany. Gonna leave a 70 something stack there. It's like maybe White will get it eventually. <sighs> I don't think White is gonna get it eventually. I think White's going to keep hitting you. White hits Pete. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Heitzel doesn't know that uh, Greece, Istanbul, and Ankara are open to my capital. So he thinks this at least card blocks me without White's help, but it doesn't. I still have another probably full trade. So if I get in Dire Straits, I can always fortify off. But I'm really incentivized to have this shit not continue. I could do the full off cap fortify. He's going to block that portal as well. No. He's just going to give me a card there. Just go whole hog on the bounty. Take second and two. That actually might be the move. Okay. Oh, it's going to give me two free cards in Egypt. Thanks, bro. It really just seems like White wants me to win the game based on his play. Either that or he doesn't understand um, the sitch with the card with the attempted card block. All right, well, let's delete Heitzung's blocking stacks with my set. There, that's a full trade. We're both going really good to white. But I have more, tr I have a lot more troops than him. He knows better than to open the capital, though. He's not going to give me the bounty. He keeps trying to set up a block because he doesn't know these three exist. And now there's even more back there. <laughs> I mean, I admire the effort. At least he's trying to progress the game. You can't fault a man for trying. All right, white player sends in, gets the 315. Does he finally take the bounty? He probably is enough to take us both now. He hits two off-cap stacks. 
three. He might be lining himself up for this bounty now. All of the off-cap stacks have been hit. All right, I have a plan. I'm going to fortify a thousand troops off capital that Knight Sun can't see. Maybe a little more, like 1,200. Only 15k on cap. Yeah like that okay 1350 off 1666 on have a set is 325 he gets 320 puts it all on capital he saw that i did a long fortify yeah he saw that i did a long fortify he knows too bad that didn't work Worth a try, though. Oh, white opens me. Good game. Yeah, good game. Well played. Let's go. That's the end, folks. GG Heitzung. I get two bounties, and there's no chance that I don't die to white now. Absolutely no chance. GG hide song. He says tournaments are fun. I agree, brother. <laughs> I agree. It wasn't? Aw. Yeah, there's, I'm sure he has a lot to say about it. We can talk about it. I brought a knife to the toolbox out of Fosse, a, kni a knife to a gunfight. Well, White just has so many more troops than me.
I'm just trying to do my best in this 1v1, which I will certainly lose, so it might drag out a bit. And I'm, I'm not trying to be a bad sport about it, guys, but because it's a tournament, I feel like I owe it to myself to play to my outs. So I understand that I've lost the game, um, but the situation is such that if there's even a sliver of opportunity to win, I have to try and take it. So I hope Job understands that I'm not trying to delay him or stall or whatever. I'm just trying to maximize points in turn. He says, good game. Good game. Yeah, man. Kill me. Just kill me. Make me die. Take the caps. Do whatever you got to do. But I'm going to play until I'm not going to surrender. This is a world championship. Good. He takes the one cap and he's going to take the other cap. And that's GG. Okay. He takes me without the bounty. <clears throat> First... Uh, Job. No final bounty. GG, guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. 16 points. I will take it. I'm at 32 points. Uh, top 300 advance. Congratulations to everyone who does. Best of luck in your upcoming rounds. Thank you all so much for playing. Thank you for enjoying the tournament. I'm going to post a community post on my YouTube after this video comes out doing um, a little poll on feedback on the settings. I want an objective measure of what people think and maybe we can use it, right? Rather than just saying, I think these settings suck, I hate them. Maybe we can use it as something constructive to move forward. Thank you. I love you. For all of you on the path to world domination. Good games and good luck.